Here goes a lesson on Couldn't Stand the Weather by Steve Ray Vaughan. We're going to have to detune all the strings a half step. Everything's going to look like it's in D minor pentatonic. So our first riff is going to be this 5-3-5 five, five in the A string. Then we're going to go 1, 3, the big E. So once again, that was. And then we're going to go. So that was 4 and 5 in the big string. To the 3, and then 5-3-5 five, five again. So all together we got. Wait a minute. Two, three, four, five. Back to the beginning. Two, three. Three, four, one. Now this time. Three, four, one, two, three. Two extra beats. So that's when you take a finger and you get it kind of tight so it'll get all three strings in the same fret. Slide it down and then he does another one. Like off that 15th fret, he slides that big one down. So you gotta. And then he's gonna come in with this riff here. And he always kind of mixes it up, but the basic thing of it is. Either these, both of these 13s or this octave of this 10 on the G string and 13 on the bottom and muting the one in between, of course, it's like. So it's like you wait till the one, three, four, one. So what that is, is the 10s on the second string and the third string. So we're gonna go 10s and then bend the 12s up and down and pull them off and go to that 12th fret D string. Then we're gonna do this little hammer on in the seven chord of the D right there. So really that's the two middle strings and it's 10 and 10 and hammering on to the 11 of the G string. So we got three, four, one. And that was just some chicks with the 12s and the 10s again. So you could also sometimes do those 13s, like I say, it'd be like three, four, one. We'll pull off there sometimes, 12 to 10. Of course, he would do these things like all different all the time. The live versions are way different than the little fills he does are different than the studio version and all that. So he has lots of different ideas. It's basically anything that sounds cool to you that's within that minor pentatonic kind of a sounding thing. Sometimes he'll do the... He'll do like that sliding up to the 14 and 13. He'll use that as a chord to go with the 12s and 10s. Sometimes he'll... He'll do quick stuff like that. So one more time, let's try that. Three, four, one. So that's gonna be another one of those hammers. Let me get down to the 12 cents. So in the studio version, he does that a couple times. Once earlier in the song and once later in the song. So that's really slow on the 10, on the D string. 12, 10, and then little chords like that. Mix it up. So he gets into a real choppy thing on those 12s before that first verse. Now we're gonna get into, I saw him on a live version, he's doing this D minor seven down here, so that's five with like a D shape on the bottom, five, six, five down there, muting the big string and the fourth string. It's like. So it's like down, up, down, down, up. That's your verse. Now you could also do that here with like the 10 on the big string and these other 10s down below. B minor, A7, G7, we got chicka chicka bang, this is the F sharp, raise 9, so F sharp, 7, sharp 9, so it's like a chicka chicka. So 
only two little fills there between the next verse. B minor 7. Let's go over that second verse again. A to the A. B minor 7. A7. G7. So that's nothing like what he's doing, but what he's using is the D minor pen pentatonic notes. At one point he gets into a little thing where he does that pinky below. And then he goes, gets the pinky to both strings below. That kind of thing. Uh, some of the other stuff he does, he'll get into that solo later where he's like... That's when he gets into those B minor and those changes there. kind of gets a little chromatics going on there, like little semitones. So it's good to practice all those kind of things, like, uh, you know, your... Practice that one main note bend right there, bending into the one of that D. The live version gets into a little... Sometimes we'll get into... Get away from that 13th fret. We'll do that 12th fret thing. Okay, so without getting too far into his solo stuff, um, there is the one spot where I said, like, when you get to the B minor chord in that solo after he's been jamming in D for a while, then you get into that. So that's becoming like a B minor pentatonic scale because we switch to that B chord, so he gets. So he was really good at getting all those kind of, he could probably do that even with his first finger. Sometimes I'll move that back, get the proper strength on it, but you know, he had them strong fingers, boy. Now during that solo, he gets down to... So one thing, let's also look at the, um, let's look at the intro here. So in the intro, it kind of starts out like. And you got that. Now there's another little way that he turns that down and gets a, a little bit of a higher chord on that. Eight, nine, ten, and nine. You hear him kind of brush that one a little bit as a lower chord probably has that one there. So once again on that, that intro, we got the B minor 7 is the background chord, and he gets into like a... Whatever he's doing there, but it's good. some of that... B minor pentatonic. Then he's in A, and he's going... So kind of from the A minor pentatonic with that flat fifth in there. Okay, so that um, comes back during the solo, and those are the chords when he gets in there. So when the solo is done, 
So Couldn't Stand the Weather by Steve Ray Vaughan. Let's go through those parts one more time. So we got our intro. So the very first intro is the B minor 7. A7. G7. F sharp raise 9 with a little higher extension. 3, 4. Basically, that's all that goes through all that stuff again. All that kind of stuff. So check him out, listen to his live versions, and listen to the record a lot to get ideas from what he's doing in there. Like I said, that next solo kind of gets into a B minor pentatonic when this chord comes in. So that's just some of the little highlights of that solo. So give it a whirl and uh, great stuff always from Steve Ray Vaughan, classic, greatest, one of the greatest guitar players of all time, without a doubt. Um, so yeah, this one was detuned, remember, half step down. Um, we will see you soon with more. I'm Damon Wood. Please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.